hello guys welcome back to my channel once again and uh, today i'm gonna show you how to exploit vulnerability in metasploit using kali linux so here i have opened metasploitable in my virtual box so here you can see that i'm running all this uh, operating system on virtual box so i have uploaded already a video on uh, virtual box that how you can install uh, kali linux and all any kind of operating system on virtual box so you can check it out and i have also dropped the link in description so you can check it out later so here we have metasploit and uh, kali linux running on my virtual box so uh, i think you guys are already aware by metasploit that uh, it contains a lot of vulnerability i mean uh, you can say that it is a packages of vulnerability in one machine actually it is meant for for uh, practice purpose for penetration tester uh, where you can uh, learn how to exploit different kinds of uh, vulnerability in this machine and you can discover uh, there are lots of open ports which uh, you can find in metasploit so let's begin with the video so here you can see that uh, uh, let me check the ip address of the metasploitable machine and uh, let's see that we can ping it from our kali machine or not so for ip address i have to type ifconfig and we can see that uh, the IP address of the metasploitable machine is 192.168.1.4 and uh, let me open the terminal in Kali Linux and let's see that we can ping it or not and here you can see that the response is coming uh, 64 bytes of data is sending from my Kali machine to the metasploitable and we can see that the responses are coming out it means that we are perfectly connected to the machine so uh, you have uh, your Kali machine running on VirtualBox and let's see what kind of vulnerability we can discover on metasploit so let's get started so to discover open ports uh, we use a tool called nmap so by using nmap you can discover the open ports on any devices on network like uh, in in this case we are using uh, metasploitable in virtual box so we are going to uh, discover the open ports on metasploitable for example if you are running uh, windows or any version of windows like uh, in my case i have windows 7 you can also discover the ports on windows 7 as well so in this case i am going to discover ports in metasploitable because it contains lots of open ports so here i am going to start nmap so you can see that i have the command nmap and here I have to give the parameter in nmap hyphen sv means uh, this uh, parameter will let you know the version of exploit and this is the IP address of my metasploitable machine once I uh, type this command let me hit enter and as you can see that uh, my nmap is starting starting my nmap for my, my metasploitable machine whose ip is 192.168.1.4 and uh, let's wait let's wait for some time and it is about to complete 95 percent has been done here we go and you can see that uh, we have lots of open ports on metasploitable machine you can see that uh, there are ports like the uh, ftp ports for ftp ssh telnet smtp t 
these are the open ports and meta, meta exploitable machine here you can see that the states are, state are open and services which is ftp ssh telnet smtp and this is the version of uh, ftp uh, which version of ftp is running on my meta exploitable so the role of uh, this command uh, hyphen s capital v is to list out the version also is to list out the version of each services running on meta exploit machine right so we are going to exploit uh, one of them so i'm going to so i'm going with ftp so let me search uh, out this uh, what is this ftp as you already know ftp is for file transferring proto protocol used on internet so we are going to search about this version vs ftpd which is ex exploitable so i'm going to copy this version and type the command so i'm going to write search exploit and the version of the stp ftp and hit enter so as you can see there are two uh, exploits has been listed and the path of these exploits are unix.remote and as you can see it is written in python and .rb it means it has been written in ruby let me divide this terminal in two parts and here i have to start Metasploit, uh, sorry, MSF console. Oh, MSF console is MSF console is a Metasploitable framework. It is pre-installed in Kali Linux. <laughs> By using this tool, you can exploit any vulnerability on the remote host. So. As you can see that uh, here we have uh, 2146 exploits and 592 payloads and all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search about this exploit VSFTPD. Right. To search about VSFTPD. So this exploit is located on uh, exploit uh, Unix FTP vs ftpd so what we have to do is we are gonna we are going to use this exploit to hack into the meta exploitable to hack into the meta exploitable system so we need to type the command use exploit use exploit unix or simply you can copy it without or simply hit enter so how to use this exploit so to know anything about the exploit you need to type the command show info hit enter here you will get each and every information about our exploit here we uh, we can see that through the description of this exploit that this module exploit a malicious backdoor that was added to the vs ftpd download archive this backdoor was introduced into the vs ftpd this and this version archive between June 30th, 2011 and June, sorry, July 1st, 2011, according to the most recent information available. And this backdoor has been already removed on July 3rd, 2011. So, what we have to do the next? 
Oh, so what you have to do the next you have to type the command show options here you can see that the name our host our port which has been already set to 21 our host is the remote host I mean the metasploitable the IP address of the metasploitable on which uh, on which IP it is currently running we have to set this on that IP which is our port is the remote port number which has been already come as 21 as default default number so what we need to do is we have to just customize the our host our host column so to change the our host we need to type set our host to 92.168.1.4 it should be the remote host IP address and our remote host IP address is as you can see here 192.168.1.4 of metasploitable a remote IP of metasploitable machine so you have to type here and hit enter so we have done with the every configuration so what we need to do next we need to type exploit so by typing exploit the code will uh, be executing on our remote machine and we will successfully uh, take over on metasploitable machine and here you can see that we have found a shell and command shell session 1 open on this and this IP address and we have successfully hacked our metasploitable machine and let's check it out uh, that uh, we have get access or not so first we will type pwd and uh, here it is our location and let's check uh, where where we are which privileges we have let's check it so to check it uh, we have to type the command who am i uh, as you can see we are the root uh, root user on the remote on the remote host we have not just hack into the metasploitable machine we have take over the we have take over on the root account as well so at this moment i can do anything i want i can uh, turn on the camera turn on the mic and uh, i can share the screen as well and let's list let's list the directory so here we can see that we have all these directories and now I can also make my own directory let me create one directory mkdir hsek here you can see that uh, I have made one directory called hack uh, let's cross check it so I'll go to metasploitable and uh, go to that directory let me change it to root and uh, type the command ls and here you can see we have a directory called hack just next to cd-rom which we have created by our Kali Linux remotely so we have confirmed that we have got 100% uh, control on Metaspo Metasploitable machine so now you at this moment now you can do anything you want with a Metasploitable machine yeah. so uh, I can if I want I can delete uh, all this folder so let me remove uh, the folder hack 
and you can see that uh, we have successfully re removed the directory hack so in so in this way we can take over on any port op any open port on metasploitable machine metasploitable is meant for hacking you can uh, exploit anything you want we have a uh, number of open ports available and uh, also you can also you can practice out uh, for bug bounty as well on metasploitable so let me disconnect it so here i can so here i have disconnected from the remote host so this is all so thank you so much for this video i would like to have your suggestions guys uh, what kind of videos do you want what kind of tips and tricks and uh, videos related to hacking i can upload any videos according to your own demands so let me know in the comment section and please please do like share and subscribe my youtube channel to see such kind of content thank you so much